Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I was doing my vision board and my goal setting for the horses for this year and I thought why not bring you along and uh, show you how I do it. So first I'll start off with what a vision board is. I came across something on YouTube um, just before COVID all about manifesting and journaling and envisioning a good life and uh, I'm not going to go into that side bit that's a completely different video but within that I learned about vision boards every year I have goals with the horses big plans what I want to do I want to take Willow to Hoy's but that's not achievable in one step. So what a vision board is, is planning your goals that you're setting for this year, stretch goals, but achievable, so that when you review it at the end of the year, you're not disheartened all the time by the, oh, I didn't complete this one this year, I didn't get this, I didn't do that. So they have to be stretch goals, which will be hard for you to achieve, but they are possible. It's not worth me saying that Lewis and Gambler are going to get a gold medal this year. That's not achievable, but a bronze medal might be. So I've set my horsey goals up and we will go through them now and I'll let you know how I turn it into a vision board. So I've got my notes here. This is the goals that I've set for the horses for this year. For Willow, I do a vision board as well for my financial life home goals as well, but I also do a separate one completely for the horses. So the horse goals this year. Willow, I want to qualify him for Royal International Horse Show. We didn't achieve this. This was a goal for last year as well, but we didn't achieve it because um, I didn't prepare enough and this is what this vision board is about because you place it somewhere in your house where you see it every day. Mine lives in the bedroom so that every day it might be rainy outside and you're like, oh, I can't be bothered to ride today. But being able to see the vision board and your end goal makes you put the plan into action. This vision board is just one step to it you do need to then work backwards. That's my big goal, to take him to Royal International. How am I going to achieve that? Just by putting it on a board is not going to make it happen. So, but seeing it every day that that is my end goal, I can then work backwards and put the things in place daily that I need to do to try and achieve the end goal. So, yeah, I want to take him to Royal International I want to do Hoy's qualifiers. I'm not saying we're qualified for Hoy's this year. I want to do the Hoy's qualifiers. So I'm out there gaining experience. Hoy's qualifiers, you can have 50 horses in a class. It is a hell of a lot. So it's just getting the experience for him and me being out in such a big environment and getting feedback from the judges on how we can improve and everything. And I just want to get him fitter and stronger, which of course will help with the other two goals. And I want to qualify him for the dressage qualifiers this year. we have done that back in 2018. Dressage is not my strong point. We qualified back in 2018, but then he'd done his suspensory ligament. So we couldn't go to the qualifiers. That's one of my goals for him. I do a lot more dressage with him so then I can use a school uh, I don't have a school at home so then with the dressage it's like 18 pounds a class I can warm up in the school do a test in the school get some feedback but yeah dressage is not my big thing I don't aim for um, big scores with that but I would like to make, get him back to the qualifiers then with champ I want to do some more riding shows with him with the aim to get to a county show by the end of the year. So that just means I need to do a hell of a lot of schooling with him, calm him down, but we need to go to slightly smaller shows first so he can gain some experience. 
because the, uh, the counter show at the end of the year is quite busy. So yeah, just um, schooling to be better, fitter, stronger, of course, that's all round. All of them, I ask for them to be happy and healthy. Um, and with Champ, I want to do a working hunter class with him. I don't jump, but he enjoys jumping. But with the working hunter, it includes a bit of jumping to please him and a bit of showing to please me. So I feel that that will um, excite us both, really. So I want to do a class with him. With Gambler, I've got no goals for him personally, but Lewis wants to do more county shows, Equifest again, Sunshine Tours, and a Welsh show. He does want to try and aim for a Welsh Pony and Cobb Society bronze medal for himself. Gambler's got one. I gained it with him a few years ago. Um, but Lewis would like to do one with Gambler. So that's their goals for this year, which is achievable. And then Donut, I have no goals for Donut. He is two years old. To get him out to some shows, um, but we're extremely lucky there's shows around us. Come some of those shows every single weekend. So I can get Donut out and do some stuff through the year without making too many plans. He's two years old, nothing strenuous, anything for him. So now we've got our goals, then we get onto the computer and we start printing out some pictures to help us envision getting these goals. So all I do is go on the internet and for Champ, I want to do the Search for a Star program with him. Um, so we just type in Search for a Star, uh, S-E-I-B, and then we go on to Images. Find a picture that you want. I want that one. It's a bigger one. Um, so then this is the image I want. I want that one because that's the one for the Mountain and Moorland class. So all I do is I print that off and then cut it out so we can place it on our vision board. So, let's... so once you've printed off all the pictures and quotes and things that you want on your vision board, just want to cut them out and... Uh, then we can start putting them on our board. You can put whatever you want, whether you want to save up for a new show jacket, new saddle or anything. It's your own vision board and what you want to vision this life, to, this year to become. So once you've cut everything out, it's time for the fun part. So we get our board and I've got a bit of blue tack. I'll use that in a minute and we just start I don't like too many bits on my vision board I do like to have it not cluttered otherwise I feel that if there's too much on it of course there's too many goals you cannot achieve them but a cluttered vision board to me gives me a, a cluttered year I like it to keep it simple so we can have a play around with these and see what we can put where. So once you've got it where you want everything, then I just stick everything down with a bit of blue tack and it goes into its frame. Then I uh, get the actual frame. 
you can do it on whatever you want. I've got a big picture frame, so it's easy to change. But you can do it on just a like pin board thing, whatever they call it. Um, or even just a piece of paper stuck on whatever. Doesn't matter what it's on. It's just that you've got something there to vision. Let's see if I look all right. Why is this not going in? Um, yeah, it doesn't matter what it's on. It's just having it so it's in view for you to work towards. This is going to be awkward to put in today, isn't it? And then we have my board. So there we have my vision board to go up in the wall in my bedroom. Not too much on it. I like it nice and, as I say, not cluttered. So we've got the year we want to achieve it. Picture of Gambler. He's at, that's when he was at Sunshine Tours um, 2021, 20, I think. So that, of course, does his golf going to Sunshine Tours as well. He wants to do that again. And that's the logo for Sunshine Tours. Equifest, we've got a quote here. A goal without a plan is just a wish. That's what this whole thing is about, is making the plan for our goals. If you aim for nothing, you'll hit it every time. So always have a goal to go to. And then down here, I put Champ and Willow down here together because in the end, I want Champ to go to Royal International and Horse of the Year show as well. I don't think that's going to happen at all this year. But this is really, these bits are goals for him as Willow's Willow. I always pick this photo of Willow because I always hope and pray that he's actually going to go back to that colour every single year. So we've got Champ at his first ridden show. So that's just, I want to do more ridden shows with him. And that's work. That's a working hunt course. I'm hoping the one that we go to will be a bit smaller. But yes, so that is my vision board for the horses just so I look at it every day know where I'm heading with the year and can work their daily um, sessions uh, schooling sessions and everything I can work every work out every day what we need to do to achieve these sort of goals but if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you